what's poppin guys welcome back to a brand new video my name is Alex in this tutorial I have another video editor for you guys so you guys know that I'm always looking behind the scenes for other video editors easy to use as well for beginners as advanced so in today's video I'm going to cover the ease us video editor if you want to check it out after the video the link is obviously down below if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and as always let's get into this video editor right after the intro All right guys, so this is the EaseUS video editor starting screen. So this is what you will see when you actually boot up the program after you picked it up. To start off with, you want to choose what kind of resolution that you want. So you want to have a 19 by 16 portrait resolution, a 16 by nine wide screen, which is mostly common used for YouTube videos, Facebook videos, all that, or we can have a four by three traditional. But for this one, we're going to pick the 16 by nine wide screen. Okay, so now that we have chosen the resolution, this is basically what we will see. So it will actually guide us through on how to use this. So right here, it says the import button, click to import video, photo and music or import by drag and drop. So I'm gonna click on okay. So this is basically our interface and everything that we can use to edit our videos. So if I'm going to drag this guy up, we can actually make the timeline a little bigger so we can actually see more precisely what we're doing and where we're cutting. Okay, so the first menu right here, it says drag files to import, meaning that we can just go ahead and drop a clip in there. Okay, so I just dragged in a clip of this video, the actual intro. So now that we have that right here, we can actually move on by dragging that into our timeline, look, which is right here. But before we're gonna actually start, you know, cutting and adding effects and filters and music and all that, we're gonna basically explore the other menus a little first. So right here at the top, it says text. So you can actually click on there and you can actually have all these pre-made text files that you can drag onto your video. It's very very, very cool. So let's say that we're going to pick this top one. We're going to drag that into our timeline. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus icon. So then we will have it on our timeline right here. So as you can see, we can also drag this longer so we can actually have it, for example, across the entire clip. So then if you double click on that line, you can actually customize the text so you can actually write it on your preview. So let's go ahead and type, for example, ease us video editor. If you want to center this, you can actually see that these lines are appearing so that you actually make Make sure they're perfectly aligned. So then we're going to go to the bottom text and we're going to type in full walkthrough. So then we can also make sure to center this one by just holding it and pressing it on that line. So then it will lock it into place. And now you know that your text is fully centered. But we can also choose up the fonts so we can select all our text and we can just basically choose any fonts from the list. So you can actually completely customize it to how you like it. So you can also make this one like bold. You can make it cursive. You can also go ahead and change the color and the opacity. And you can also add in different text effects. So now that you guys know how to import your text, I'm going to delete that one because I'm not really using any text in the intro. Moving on to our clip itself and we need to spice it up a little bit. So right here we have the filters button and we can actually drag on all kinds of color grading presets onto our video. You have so many options to choose from guys. We can have like distorted ones, jitter and all that. So let's move on to the bottom one. So let's move one tab down where we can actually see like particles and all that. So let's drag that in. So now if you make this one bigger and if we actually drag it across the timeline, this is basically what it looks like. Easy to use as well for beginners as advanced. So in today's video, I'm going to cover the easy. So we have a ton of effects that we can just apply onto a video, guys. And it really depends on what you're looking for. Are you editing a gameplay montage video? Are you editing a vlog? Anything like that. You just want to basically decide upon your footage, like what is actually fitting onto your clip in terms of like filters and all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a jump cut and a transition. Looking behind the scenes for other video editors, you know, have like video editors, you know, have like a lot of like user friendly interfaces to use as well. Easy to use. Okay, so now that we create a little cut right here by just clicking that scissors icon, now we can delete that. And if you place that one to each other, this is what the jump cut looks like. Behind the scenes for other video editors, you know, have like a lot of like user friendly interfaces, e easy to use as well. As you can see, that's how we created the jump cut. But as you can see, if I click on those clips, we have two separate ones and we can also create a transition between these clips. So now if you click on the transitions tab on the left, we can actually decide okay, what kind of transition do we want. So let's pick this one. So we're gonna click on that plus icon, then it's gonna take a couple seconds to load. Drag that onto the 
split it clip. So let's play it back. You know, have like a lot of like user friendly interfaces, e easy to use as well for beginners. As, it as you can see, that looks really, really cool. That's how you can create these transitions. And of course, you can make the transitions longer if you want to. So of course, you can completely customize the transition and how long it takes. So let's say that you want to have it last for like one second. Let's click on that and let's see what it looks like. User friendly interfaces, easy to use as well. And now you can just go ahead and trim, for example, like the access footage off of it. And you can create like really, really cool transitions in between clips. So now if you click on the elements button at the bottom, we can actually drag on multiple overlays and elements that you can choose from. So we have all kinds of stickers. We have like openers. We have like special effects such as like brush paints overlays. We have festival stickers that you can just drag on. We have like these Christmas hats. We have even VIP ones and it is just exactly the same. You just want to drag and drop. You just want to click on that plus icon then it's going to be inserted into your timeline. So then we have, as you can see, this board and we can have like multiple overlays. And what's really cool is you can also switch back to full screen if you double click on the preview, as you can see like that. It's a really, really handy tool, guys. So the last one at the very bottom says music. So let's say you're tired of using NCS for years and years and years. You want to have something different in this software. They actually provided you a lot of songs so you can actually choose like what kind of genre do you like we have a lot of like relaxing kind of songs we also have like a ton of sound effects also pre-made into the software it's a really really cool program guys make sure to check out the link down below if you're pumped about this software because it has so many features that for example other softwares don't have like included songs included sound effects all that it is really really cool get started on using this software today and this is just a sneak peek guys I'm going to let you guys explore the entire software yourself. So make sure to check out the link down below. So guys, that's it for this video. That's all I have for you guys today. If you want to check out this video editor, make sure to check out the link down below. I'll catch you guys tomorrow's video as always. So I'll see you guys in the next one.